Artist Bebop, episode 59. This is a dual ramble with Bruce Cercina. Great. Bebop. All right, let's bring him on. Wait, wrong one. There we go. <laughs> How goes? Hello. Good. How are you? We're, Thanks for inviting me on too. I appreciate it very much. You know, it's been on my my mind, and I'm glad I butt dialed you. <laughs> it was pretty. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's a, it was like, nice. oh yeah, let's. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I had a feeling it was like, yeah. Sometimes I call butt dialing booty calling mm -hmm. because they're the butt. And booty and dialing yeah. and calling, or but I, they mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody gets the same warning from me. If there's a video mm -hmm. call, I'm most likely wrestling with a small child that belongs mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> nice, so, yeah, but uh, I assume so. That's the first thing I said, <laughs> but yeah, man, I brought you on because I, I love the videos you make, you know, we talked mm -hmm. about them. And I think I'm going to dive into some of them. So yeah. Let me see here. Definitely. Let's see if I can, if I can get us where we need to be. I told my mom I was going to be on a podcast she about my art. I don't think really? she's watching, but I am going to send it to her, though. Nice. Somehow. Yeah. Definitely. Ooh, you All got right. my page up. So I, I never think anyone ever looks at my page. So thank you for looking at my page. Sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll admit, I don't look at all of them. But oh, no. I check in because I think when we first started talking, you were just <laughs> starting to play with this stuff. And so yeah. I like you, to... You told me the first like program to use. Yeah. It's sweet. <laughs> so... I think this is the one. Oh, yeah. Is this it? Yeah. No, wait. I'm going to go to another one. I'm trying oh, to... I, I love I had... them all equally, so... Yeah, this and is everyone's it. great. So, I have a lot of listening people, so... Yeah. I'm going to kind of go through it. My here. guess is that you're watching this video for one or uh -huh. two reasons. A, you want to see if I actually know what I'm talking about, and B, you are genuinely trying to figure out best practices for cuffing your pants. Okay. I'm not here to tell you what's right now. You're the type of guy here to get So there's the punchline. And then it devolves. And then I love this. Without having to have the patience to go to the tailor. Pants without having to have the patience to go to the tailor. Pants without having to have the patience to go to the tailor. Pants without having to have the patience to go to the tailor. Pants without having to have the patience to go to the tailor. Yeah. So let's see. We'll, um, we'll stop that for a second and we'll recap. Walk me through it. Okay, so, all right, so I make a word of the day, how it started. So, I was making a video, because I do at least one video a day, so I'm just making videos. I decided to become obsessed, and that's how you get good. And so, I was outside on Main Street in my home, in the town I live in, sitting on a bench. I was like, I'm going to sit in public and enjoy myself, look at the birds, and make a video. And so I was like looking at my pants, right? And I was like, man, I don't like all the extra jeanage on my pantsage. So I was like, I love tight rolling. As a kid, tight rolling was my favorite thing to do ever. And I was like, why don't I bring it? I'm gonna bring it back for myself. So now I tight roll my pants like the 80s, like New Kids on the Block tight roll. Like, anyway, so I made a video about it on Main Street. And then my phone got down to 2% when it was saving. So my phone shut down, and that's what it saved at the end. And sometimes it's one of the Bob Ross happy accidents because you, you can't 
uh, the glitch was that, but I love the those little like glitches because that's like, you know, you there's no effect to create that. That's just like your phone being like, I'm dying, and I I captured it. Right and now, it's a part of my video, and I edited it afterwards with the glitch. So mm -hmm. it's like. I don't know. I love just like the process of making art. The outcome, like the finished work, is like a byproduct. But I've I've watched like that word play where it's it's almost like the video is falling apart. Yeah, I and um, I dig that. And let's let's look at another one because this one's more visual and. Let me see. I'll share screen. Okay. Um, yeah. Last Paris Baker, the so. President of the United States. Yeah. There's, there's Trump. It's kind of the same thing, except visually. Like visually, everything's disjointed. And he's shaking hands, and then I love, I love this foreground. That dude, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to use the whole screen, the whole canvas, right. like. Just make it go as far out as you can. Blow up the picture. Like, just go like that. Just like, yeah. it, yeah. until like you only are like seeing their eyeball on your phone and then record yeah. that. What? Well, I love the little, like his head's going into the next one. Yeah. And then the glitches in the background. Yeah, it's, and I cut out the background. Yeah. So it's like, it's the little le leftover parts of each video, and then I duplicate it, or then I cut it out in a different way. It's really interesting and fun. Yeah. And and I don't I don't have any fancy downloading program. I just screen record on a phone and edit it on my phone. Yeah. The screen recorder that you screen record like anything. Every phone has one. Anyone can do what I do. It might look not look as cool. I'm joking. Well, that, it will. That's the thing. It, there is so much abundance for creativity. You really don't need much to do a lot. But yeah, I think, I think these are so cool. I... <laughs> I really want to just like, I I was trained. I I'm a drawing major. I'm a fine art paint oil painting major, mm -hmm. and I was trained by hand like graphic designers who used uh, French curve rulers and squares and drafting tables and uh, rub on lettering. That's who I learned from in the '90s. And uh, so I've been just like kind of going through for like the last 20 years just trying to figure out how to kind of flip into the digital world in a way that I'm comfortable with. I'm not going to, I'm personally not going to pay Adobe $50 a month or whatever it is just to use whatever. I'm going to use a free program app on a phone that I own and a screen recorder so I could seal anything and I I I download images I download any image I want if it, I see an image of a Kentucky fried chicken bucket that I want I'll just download that and use it in my video right off the Kentucky fried chicken website like screw them it's mine I feel right. like an artist that's what I mean and I, yeah. so I could do it on my terms and I could put in any music and, you know, if those platforms don't want it, 
they don't have to put it on there. They could delete it, whatever, but I'll have the master and I'll have like, I'll say whatever I want for free. Well, I think, I think that's what all this web three thing is about. Definitely. Even NFTs and yeah, all of the crypto that every, not everybody, but a lot of people are very loud against, but aren't seeing the real use. Because you're right. Um, yeah. You know, we're on these platforms, even the ones we're on right now, but it's not ours, kind of. You know? We're, yeah. And it's not free either. They, um, we're giving them, we're giving them us. Yeah, uh, and so I'm, I'm curious to see how that evolves. Uh, yeah, definitely. That, I want to definitely make money off of. I definitely want to make money off of my work. Like, but I'm not gonna force it. But I'm just gonna build momentum organically, and. Like what I did with my physical work before physical work just kind of took a nose dive. No one, I, people, not really, you can make a living. I can't, I don't know. I make just like, I just get too distracted and I'm like, can't do like, I do so many different things that I don't know. I'm not good at like focusing. <laughs> I need to like be able to do like something, just get it out. Like, and yeah, I'm, I'm just like, I, I spent so many hours just like oil painting and then it just got me nowhere. Me nowhere got me nowhere. And so I'm like, I have to do digital because I don't know. I know well, you did. I don't think. It's something I've been thinking about lately. I don't think it matters as long as mm -mm. we're expressing. Yeah. Now, the monetization part, I am, I do sell physical things, but I'm looking at the potential of just attention. And how that relates to us visual artists. Because, and that's why I started doing more video and just talking. Because, you know, there's plenty of stuff for other mediums. Comedy or music. But there's not a lot of us out there that I can see. That are talking about, you know, how do we, how do we grab more of the attention, so that, mm. you know, we are monetized better, True. so that we are part of, more part of culture in a, in the way that we find interesting. So. True. True. Yeah. I I do think about that also. Like, I mean, I. With my artwork, I don't like saying anything about it. I like it just to put it out. I don't like putting words. Even when mm -hmm. I talk to people online, I like to send a gift to people and not words or a video or a song. I do not type, I love how your hair looks today. Oh, did you hear about my, no, I send you an Andre the Giant uh, farting on somebody video. You've experienced that many times. Yeah, I don't like so, but but like I need to, yeah, as an artist, like I that does grab impact. And for me, I love telling stories, so I like making my art make sense. Some artists who do the type of work that I do, like abstract and kind of crazy do not have a storytelling instinct. So it just is all jarbled and crazy. It looks cool, but it just like has no soul. But I'm like mm -hmm. the bridge who like 
tells a story, but it, you're like, what the hell am I looking at? Like, I'm right. fun. I'm a, I'm a party. I'm Mr. Party. And <laughs> like, no, I am like, I don't know. Like, that's what I am like. And, but, but definitely talking about art is, I really appreciate your videos. When I am uploading my videos to TikTok, your video comes up half the, half the time. So I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Art lesson with art lesson with <laughs> Sergio. Like, yeah. So and it makes me feel like I'm back in like high school again, taking art. <laughs> class. I'm like, yeah, or like taking art at the uh, center for the arts in town. Yeah. Ooh. Like, it, it's just fun, and I enjoy that. Like, uh, but I don't know. I think if if we each, like, yeah, like, I don't know. i be more well-rounded in presenting our work. Like, well, me, I need to talk more about my work, maybe, and not hate doing it. Like, like... I've I've tried to explain my work to so many people and like I'll explain it to someone and they'll be like what or uh, actually my family well my father my father he is a, not an artist at all period he he still to this day he's 70 something I'm 45 he's like well I don't understand what you do. I'm like, look, look at it, look, it's, it's right. That's what I do. My, I mean, oh, I'm so, my he, parents. He's like, I, uh. well, he's like, I don't understand art. I don't understand it. And I'm like, it's not hard. It's like, look, all these people like it, like what I'm. And he, he completely does not respect it at all. So I don't expect anyone else to either in the world. And if someone does, whatever, I don't give a, f I'm just, I've always been an artist. I'm, I'm a conduit. I'm, yeah. I, I, that's what I believe. Yeah. The, the thing is, I don't, that I've come to realize is, you know, we do it, we make things to express whatever it is. And then it's like, nobody owes us the attention. It's up to us to get it. And that's been heaviest on my mind lately. Like mm. we, like, it's like, you know, this is my job to grab the attention. You know, I, I am selling work. And then I start thinking about, well, what do I want to do with that? And how do I want to do it? Hmm. And how do I move more of it in a way that I like, that I'm comfortable with? True. That's different you... from like selling something commercially. And I that goes back hmm. to attention. And if you put it out there enough and you're interesting enough, then I think that comes and I think it's possible in a way different way than it ever has been for any artist in the history of what we do. So true. Yeah. Have, uh, do you, uh, do you sell like in a traditional, like through galleries? Do you do the gallery thing or do you like sell through more to people like, like the fair stuff before stuff. yeah before covid you know i would do the gallery thing i would do festivals yeah i'd sell sure. wherever I'd, i do that you know put my stuff on walls yeah. and i was doing a little bit of online you know because i had social media yeah and then i was forced to use my phone to sell art otherwise yeah. i was going to be on the street with my kids and so i went through that and i start getting asked 
you know, are you going to this show? And what happened is I grew an audience online and they pay me way better than anyone ever did in person. For the most part. I mean, I've had a few tears in my career, but, you know, on, on the mass scale, I'm just too well paid online to want to go back to any of that. And True. that's where I'm like, I like being more comfortable. I like creating just what I want to do, you know, because I, I. Yeah, you don't I, have to but, cater to an odd, think of an audience. Yeah. So, you know, uh, or like a paint count couch paintings, you know, yeah. stuff that hangs behind couches because you know, it'll sell. And you pay thirty, like twenty dollars for a canvas. If I paint this tree, I can make a hundred dollars. Like I thought that when I was eating ramen, I was like, I have to paint a picture of a tree and sell it. Like I don't want to, but I uh, like. The, you the know. thing is, I think even if you did that, it might not sell because your heart isn't in it. Well, I make it look cool. <laughs> well, yeah, but still, I, I mean, I've seen that a lot. Like, I've never, I've just never compromised on that level. Like, I'm, oh, I, I'm a, I'm a shyster, man. Like, yeah, I, I'm a, like an Andy Warhol mindset. Like, he hired people off the street to pee on a canvas, and then someone bought it for two million dollars. Mm -hmm. That's he sold an idea, right? He d he's not selling a painting. I want to get to that level. Like I want to do that. Like I don't. I need to have. So I'm trying to work out a name, and that takes momentum. Momentum is the key. And stopped momentum, you have to start all over. Momentum. I'm I'm building momentum right now with my videos. Definitely. And I'm building an organic following of people who naturally watch my videos. So momentum is a hundred percent with with life. Like if things get rolling, there's no stopping it. Momentum it with and elections and like anything. Like yeah. a bicycle. Yeah. Love. Well, momentum and consistency. True, yeah. true, yes, very true. <laughs> That's why everyone should start a word of the day. Just buy a thesaurus. Word of the day? Or Google, <laughs> whatever, what the hell? Uh, like, uh, like uh, on In Your Head, can I talk, uh, talk about that? For, yeah, yeah. So, no, but yeah, like. To, to um, cue in the audience, oh, I actually met Bruce through a wrestling podcast. It's a, a, a mutual Sorry for interest going. we have. The wrestling. But yeah, you were so you were on the podcast. Yeah, well, I was actually on like the website, uh, like mm -hmm. on Facebook or whatever, reading it. And like uh, this, the two of the hosts, one of them is Jack, and another one is called One Inch Biceps or Incher. <laughs> So, and that's the greatest name in the history of professional wrestling, whatever, but. Hell yeah. But, uh, but so Jack is like, uh, well, all this time, this person named Sal McGee is, has been trolling one inch biceps oh, yeah. for, for 20 <laughs> years. It's all been Sal McGee, not him. And <laughs> so I, I put Sal McGee into an anagram uh maker on google just like to see all the words to to like work out like like an actual different name to make it even more convoluted saying it's not sal mcgee it's this because that's the anagram and this is what all the letters in the anagram so i was going to convolute it even more because i'm an internet troll <laughs> at heart but uh the the like uh, there was like Alex class or something in the, uh, uh, there's all kinds of cool words you can make out of Sal McGee. 
That's the and then I found five dollars. That's how to end a story. <laughs> My bad. I don't know. Sometimes I get carried away. You gotta stop me. <laughs> do you mind if I smoke a cigarette? No, man. Or would it. you rather me not? Or, okay. Yeah, we're not on. I think on TikTok you can't, but I don't have a um I'll keep a it stream up key there yet. I'm not doing anything. Right. Look, right, but I'm, I think I some... think their rules are um are like that. You can't smoke or vape. Yeah. True. I and understand. You'll, you'll get um get flagged. Yeah. I need to... <laughs> We need the fuzzy thing. <laughs> True. I think you could fuzz me out if you really I love um I can't I don't know. I'm still learning this uh StreamYard platform. I have some I'm Vaseline. I could just smudge it on my phone. <laughs> that's old school way there you go <laughs> uh, have you ever put like a vaseline on the underside of a door handle that no. really makes people angry because oh, yeah. <laughs> they go to grab the door handle and then they're like oh <laughs> i think my kids maybe do that <laughs> it's a good prank yeah good prank. they're jokers <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah but yeah so what, where art... do you see like oh go ahead yeah the video thing you know you're you're going with it do you have a plan i guess hmm well my plan is to uh well actually yeah i won't be a jackass and say something dumb my plan is to just get better, just get better, like, and take it seriously. Like, uh, every one minute video that I make takes about two or three hours. Yeah. And I run it through. Each of them has like 10 layers of video inside of it, and then extra audio and clips and everything in the, the videos and i edit it down all to one minute just i start with like nine minutes and put it all in one and then i don't know it's just really interesting it's a new art form for me mm -hmm. really this is i've only been working on it for like six months yeah seriously six months since i talked to you about it like that's like when Pee Wee Herman died. Yeah, that's right. When Pee Wee Herman died, I was like, I need to do a word of the day. Because I love Pee Wee Herman. He's my hero, like Paul Rubens. Anyway, so I did a word of the day and I was like using gifts. I was like, how do I make my own gifts? And then I figured that out. And then I started using facebook reels and i was like hey facebook reels is basically tiktok it's the same thing so i went from facebook reels to tiktok and that's how it all started and now i have a video with like thousands of views in like a couple hours on it and like my videos usually get uh, well, they usually get around 200 views in like a day. And I put yeah. one out a day at least and sometimes five or 10 out a day. So 200 times 10. But I'm not yeah. in it for the views. I don't care. Like I'm in it to just like make art, <laughs> see where it goes and make friends. I, mean, I don't know. It, it, not think yeah. about it not think about it at all just make a word of the day that's what i, mean, I do it, that's my reason for using it I, I put them out there and i um because i see so much i think it's i guess people our age but they're always like buy this <laughs> you know when i think that's I the number one way. yeah it's the I number one shills. way to get people to um you know swipe to the next thing <laughs> well so you have to put something that somebody wants to look at first of all 
it's something that's well, good. And most people just throw out crap or, or they're like, oh, I'm going to have it, everything's crap right now. I'd say the aesthetic for the last 10 years has been nothing. Garbage. Amateur. As far as what? Just like the internet, just like videos, like podcasts. No. Podcasts are mm -hmm. terrible. It's dudes sitting on their old couch with a microphone that they bought on eBay. And that's all. And then they make a graphic that they stole the template off of like Coral Draw and just posted their picture onto it. And then that's their graphic for their thumbnail. Like they yeah, have yeah. no. Well, we as You're artists. You're into me hard. To... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking about you. You're an artist. Like, you, you at least know better. Like, they don't, and they, they just like are like, but they are. They're not. They're just like talk. They're all talk, and it hurts my brain because I'm. Like, <laughs> you guys suck. Like, I don't know. I'm just way too ju judgmental. I don't know. Yeah, I, anyway. I don't know. I. It's very solipsistic to say, but I'm very much in my world. Like, I, my creation. That's cool. I do, I do watch, I do take in some social media, yeah. but I'm mainly there to post and respond and interact yeah. and draw people I'm like, to what I'm doing, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm like a big, big ass mirror. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm the world's conscience. Mm -hmm. I'm here to save the world. I believe that. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> I was good. given a gift and I've, I don't know. I've always worked really hard to figure out how to make art work. And I've been deadly serious about this since I was a, 12 years old and I got into art school when I was like 17 by myself. I drove to Chicago to take the test to get into Chicago Institute of Art and stuff like so like and I did it my I was basically an orphan. Like I was a ward of the state when I was like 15. So like I had to do it all myself. And I've been on the same path since I was 15. I'm 45 now. And I chose it. And, you know, just because people don't know me doesn't mean that I haven't been working this whole time. And I don't know. Maybe it's time. I don't know. I'm very passionate about art and very serious about it. And, like, I don't know. Like, I'm glad that I'm able to have a voice. And, like, I don't have to use... I, I'm very passionate. My artwork can be anything it wants to be. And that's why I don't like using my words because I'm a lot better at art than talking because I'm a jackass. But what comes through me and out is the beautiful thing. It's, I don't, it's not me. It's like, I just kind of, I'm a mirror. I don't know. I'm a vessel, like I believe. I don't know. It's weird. I'm an yeah. artist, a real artist, What's well, a real a, artist. It's a lifelong journey. Yeah, for you sure. You know, the, you were talking about words and I think last March I started to write, you know, content and I forgot that, you know, I majored in words. I was, <laughs> I have a, a master's in literature wow. and and even putting together videos putting together whatever even social media content thinking about that the more i do more of it and learn and you know just keep contributing to that creative voice i kind of feel like it's all an extension of the artist it's all part of it, our existence, which, like I said, in the history of artists, they didn't have that. You were pretty 1D as an artist. 
the, you made uh, paintings for the king and queen or you know whatever and that's what yeah that's why i respect like the masters like da vinci and like those type of artists like mm -hmm. like that were in uh, their function in society like that i'm really big on that like for artists to regain their function like where they were inventors and politicians and everything because basically they were the magicians of role in society when science came in it turned into artists you know away from alchemy away from that and i don't know but the artist role has been greatly diminished and they're like now it's like oh ai and computers fill the role of the artist like the actual artwork that comes out is not what an artist role is i don't know i yeah i don't know we're if you really devote your life to it i think you can really change a lot of stuff and you don't have to know how to do it. You have to be just like a really amazing problem solver. That's what an artist is. They're, they're life's MacGyver, <laughs> like straight up. We figure out the problems that no one else can figure out, like social problems and just like other stuff that like people, you know, cause it means something to us, you know? I don't know, anything, you know, it's weird. Well, I, I think what you were saying about being a mirror, that is our job. And each individual artist has a different reflection. And that's, you know, what I do is different than you or somebody else and vice versa. And that's a good thing. Because otherwise we're all saying the same crap. <laughs> true and and like yeah and you can be like a true mirror and just present beautiful things aesthetically beautiful art 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 you know beautiful or you can put as much of your voice into it like 10 percent, 20 percent, 50 percent, 90 like be like, screw you, I hate Oreos. Mm -hmm. Extra caps, you know? Or you could just yeah. show a picture of an Oreo with some milk and just, like, you want to eat it. Yeah. You know, different variations of, like, input. But you can do, you know, it's a slider bar. It's a spectrum. True. That's a good word. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> no for no I, it makes it easier i want to do 50 percent me today i'm kind of i don't know i mean I, I don't know i don't the like studio and making things it's very much impulse to me i i don't know what i'm going to do today i don't know what's going to change i don't know and that's why I like it. Because I could flip a switch. I could, <laughs> I could become evil, make evil art. You know, that could happen. It's my um, prerogative. Like, I, I, could <laughs> I could turn heel. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. the, the important part with that is like to give yourself the time to do that though set aside art studio time or art time for yourself yeah. or for me i couldn't do it so i had to become obsessed some people they can't have bad time management skills so that for me i had to have to do it all the time or i fall out of the habit mm -hmm. but definitely i yeah like yeah over the years i like had i've had like struggles and things and i'd quit making art 
and I wouldn't give myself any time to do it. And I just like, so art went out of my life for periods of, of my life. And like, if you're an artist, never do that. You aren't you. And just do it. it like save your own life. Like if you are an artist, you have to have art in your life or you're, you're, if you're trying to be normal or whatever your reason is, don't do it. Follow whatever. I, because like art has saved my life so many times. It, the more I fight against not doing it, the harder my life gets. I don't know. So if it's your calling, do it. And it, you'll do something great or really evil. Like, <laughs> he was saying. <laughs> but I don't know. Just make art, please. Do it. Tell somebody about it. Make them look at your art. I'm a cheerleader. I'm a... You've seen, seen me. You know how I am. Sorry. Unfortunately, my conversation with Bruce got cut short. I was having audio issues, but check out his artwork at Baby Snakes Ass Master 420 on TikTok. It's so funny to say that out loud. Really cool art he's making. I had a great time talking to him. All right, I'm out of here. Bebop.